Hey everybody, it's Rock DIY. I'm back with a, another project that may help you save some money if you decide to go this route. I purchased three 60 watt LED lights. They're motion activated and solar powered. They have a remote with two hour, four hour, six hour, always on and motion activated. They do stay on at 30% illumination until they're motion activated. These lights do not include a post or a mount. You can purchase as an option a 20 inch long mount that's $45 or $30 if it's on sale but that doesn't include tax shipping and handling uh, I didn't purchase them I purchased these lights with the idea that I would mount two lights off our back deck with short mount arms and one light on a 10 foot pole to go over our driveway because I didn't purchase the optional mounts, I ended up looking everywhere to find something I could use. No luck whatsoever. Either they were too expensive or they would just wouldn't work with these lights. As with many things, I like to DIY, so I set out to make my own mounts and light posts. This also gave me an opportunity to practice my welding skills, or I should say, lack of welding skills. I bought two 10 foot by 2 and 3 8 inch galvanized fence posts. I cut the top end of the 10 foot post at a 45 degree angle, then I cut a 3 foot section off the other 10 foot post and cut the end at a 15 degree angle. I joined the 10 foot post with the 3 foot post by welding them together. There was a small gap because they were both different angles, so I took the scrap 45 degree cut from the 10 foot post to close the gap and also reinforce it. I cut the poles at 45 degrees and 15 degrees to increase and maximize the amount of sun the solar panels on the lights would get. Prior to welding I did remove the galvanization from the post using muriatic acid. I could have used vinegar but it would have taken 24 to 72 hours. Muriatic acid took about five minutes. If you decide to do this make sure you're uh, safe in doing so. Have proper ventilation, wear gloves, and eye protection. I closed the end of the post off using some perforated scrap metal I had left over from another project. I rough cut it with some snips, spot welded it in place, then used a cut off wheel to trim it. I welded all the way around, then welded the perforated holes in it. To finish it off, I used a grinder to clean it up. To fix the issue with possible rust where I removed the galvanization, I bought some spray on cold galvanizing compound. I thought it would actually look something like galvanizing, but it looks exactly like gray primer. I thought about painting the entire light post, but if you know anything about galvanized metal, paint doesn't adhere to it very well due to the high zinc content. It will peel, flake, discolor, or not adhere at all. This is what the top side of the light looks like mounted on the post after it was completed. The light post is clamped to our upper deck for now. Before putting it in its permanent spot, I wanted to get a good idea of what the light output looks like and best positioning for it. This is the one that's going to go over our driveway. Eventually, this light post will be mounted on this retaining wall with these metal to wood post holders. The retaining wall will give the light post some additional height. If I put the light post in the ground, with concrete then I'm going to lose about two to three feet of post which would make the light between eight and seven feet. The other two lights were done differently. They will be covered in another video so tune back in. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks again.